you got, you got the confidence by working uh, on your physical body. So just for your own kind of personal men- mental health, you know, what has working on your health, uh, working out done, done for your mental health and like what does it kind of continue to do on a daily basis? It's definitely kind of allowed me to sit with myself better. Like I would say um, when I was a lot younger, before I did any working out or anything like that, I would usually always try and predetermine outcomes before doing them and then the worst case scenario type of thing. And that's because probably that was kind of like an anxiety thing where I wouldn't be very confident in myself doing certain things. And then I'd kind of expect the worst to happen because I would not have strong confidence and all this type of stuff. But then obviously working out kind of helps reset that. And now, like, for example, when I'm going to the, do the BJJ stuff, um, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu is like, I'm a lot, I'm just very calm doing it and I'm very humble and, and, I noticed that for myself that I'm very kind of uh, I sit very well with myself because I've kind of beforehand already pushed myself with the other, with the fitness stuff. I've, I've I've developed this stress tolerance with fitness, so that's another big thing to recognize as well is like when you do fitness, you develop a strong stress tolerance, and that stress tolerance can then merge in with other things in your own life. So it can merge in with dealing with stresses of other things and um, maybe if you have career goals and you're doing interviews with certain job interviews and all this type of stuff and you have you have tension around or you're nervous the working out and doing these things helps relieve that that's, that's very noticeable with doing a lot of cardiovascular exercises as well it definitely releases a sense of stress or tension in the body um and that's why I really like a lot of uh, Wilhelm Reich's stuff that I want to delve into more because he talks about organ energy, uh, which is supposed to be his idea of energy in the body and how it moves depending on your, the, the way your psyche works. So he has this idea called body armor, which is kind of like chakras. So but the inversion of chakras. So it's like there's certain tension areas within your body that get built up with tension. He calls it body armor because you're try- it's your body trying to armor itself from vulnerabilities. So it creates tensions in your body in different areas. So like if someone's very afraid of speaking, they, they get tension in their throat. Or if, there's, if they're in an argument and they don't want to speak up because maybe they're, they want to avoid the situation, they get tension in their throat. That's a form of body armor. And you get this in different areas of your body. So it's, it's interesting to look into that as well. Maybe for people who are listening to this, there, there's loads of interesting ideas in relation to kind of like body tension, um, body uh, attention release, but also things to do with like even just in general cardiovascular, cardiovascular exercises, how that helps with that a lot. And then obviously the theory behind that or the potential theory behind what that is. Um, and then, and yeah, so that as well, but I feel like working out definitely gives you a sense. That's probably the biggest thing for me is that it's through this stress tolerance of lifting heavy weights and kind of pushing yourself through it, how that kind of resets and develops your ability to deal with stresses outside of the gym as well, which I think is the biggest thing. I think that's super important.